If you want to know more about Java Functions interface, the difference between Java Function and Unary Function with Binary Function, this video is for you. Hello everyone, my name is Otavio Santana and welcome to my YouTube channel. The channel for you who wants to become an ultimate sophisticated software engineer. An engineer who can be more effective with the code. So if you want to know more about Java, NoSQL, software architecture and software engineering, subscribe at my channel. Okay, let's start. The first step here is to explore the capability of function. What is function? The idea of function is given instance type, I will convert it to another instance type. In modern architecture and any kind of solution, I usually have my MVC or hexagonal model, and I have my NT, and I also have my DTO or data transfer object. I can use function to convert to one type to another. Okay, this is the idea of the function. I will create here a function test. I just need to fix there is a typo here. And on my first sample should create a function. What I'm gonna do is I will I will give a string, I will convert to integer. So I will create a converter. So give s, I will convert to integer. So integer value of. Of course, you can use method reference here. So integer method reference value of and then you can apply for example here given my convert i will return an integer value uh, assert okay assert that give my result It should be equals to it should be equals to one two three. Okay, I will execute and see what's going on. But the idea again of function is I will convert one type to another. Another good tip it is that you can combine or decorate these functions. For example, here. Imagine a scenario where I want to care of my text. I want to remove a space at the beginning and at the end and then convert to uppercase. So I will create another test. Should create text. And what I'm going to do here is I will quit my first function that will do a trim or remove a space at the beginning. Of course, you can use method reference. And then I will do my uppercase to uppercase and then upper. What I can do right now is trim. And then upper to finally apply some text. So I will create my text here. I will put a lot of space. Otavio knows Java. At least that is what I hope for. And then I will return. Any oops. I will return a result. Okay. 
So right now, I will do my assert, assert that with my result. And this one here should be equals to Otavio knows Java at uppercase. Of course, on production, don't forget to put the locale under two uppercase method. So what did you do? What did I do here? I have a function, then a second function. I combine those. There are two ways to make it possible. So, and then, so I will execute string and then upper. Another way that I can do is compose. So upper, you go first and then string to finally apply the text. Okay, the last topic for today are the specializations that you can use with function. For example, I will create a test here. Public void should create function specialization. So I will annotate it with test. Uh, for example, in the previous section, I mentioned the idea of I have the same type here, like string, string, to do a string, right? And if you wish, you can do it even more easier using unary operator. Or I don't need to declare it twice. The unary operator will do this kind of thing for me. So as you can see, unary operator extends function where my t you be the same to both to parameter and then the return. So right now I have my unary operator. Sometimes I want to have more parameters inside my function. For example, when I decide to do a sun operator. So on this case, I have two parameters that will convert a single one or a reduce. So reduce basically is I have two interns that will return, that might return uh, just one. So to make it easier, we do have B function. So I will use the sun operation here. So integer, integer, and integer operation where give A and B, I will return A plus B. Okay. Uh, let's do the assertion that my operation I will apply so one and two and it should be equals to three. Let's execute. So right now I'm using the function specializations. Unary operator to reduce the number of generics inside my function. And sometimes I need to do exactly the opposite. I need to have one more. On this case, two parameters to get in and just one to return. For example, uh, reduce or arithmetic operation. So right now I did the sum. Of course, you can do the, the method reference here. And of course, if you want, wish, you can replace if without impact. So on this case, I will use A times B. So it should be true right now. 
it will run and that is it today we talked only about function interface where the idea is give one type as parameter i will convert to another instance type that's the idea uh, if you are familiar with string is exactly what you're doing for example if you have a list and then we want to map to another thing so you're gonna use function we also talked about the function specialization for example unit operator or where i just have one type or the type will be the same to get in and get out and the b function is the opposite so i need to have two types to get in and other type to get out that's all for today hopefully uh, you're gonna enjoy the video use this video and please put your thoughts in the comments